So, dito sa completing the square, dapat familiar mo na tayo dun sa square of a binomial and perfect square trinomial. So, ano ba yung relationship ng dalawang ito? Well, no, kapag meron tayong x plus y square. Yan. The square of a binomial. So, para hindi mahirapan, pwede nyo i-recall yung grade 8 lesson. Nasa playlist din ng grade 8. So, i-recall natin siya. Equal yan. Then, sa shortcut natin, sa PST, square the first term. That is x squared. Multiply the first term times the second term. So, x times y times 2. So, positive 2xy. Then, square the second term. Y squared. Y Equal yan ngayon. So, si square of a binomial, kapag in-expand natin, yan yung tinatawag na perfect square trinomial. Sa pang-example, let's say 2x minus 3y raised to 2. Yan. So, square the first term. 2 squared, that is 4. Then x squared. Next, multiply the first term times the second term. So 2 times negative 3, that is negative 6xy. Times 2, negative 12xy. Then square the last term, or the second term, negative 3 squared, so positive 9y squared. Ayan. Sa so, isa pa. Paano pag meron tayong x plus 3y squared? Square the first term. x squared. Multiply the first times the second. Positive 3xy times 2. So 6xy plus 9y squared. So ayan yung ating... Uh, or, or yung relationship ng dalawa. So, saan natin magagamit yan? So, gagamitin natin yan para sa completing the square. So, ilagay sa isip na itong completing the square ginagamit kapag yung expression natin or yung equation natin ay hindi na pwedeng gamitin ng extracting the square root o kaya factoring techniques. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. Try natin na example. Example number one. Let's say we have x squared plus 6x plus 1 is equal to 0. So itong x squared plus 6x plus 1 is equal to 0, hindi natin siya pwedeng isolve by factoring. Kasi si 1 dito ay wala naman siyang factor na kapag inag-add natin ay equal to 6. So, hindi din natin pwede gamitin si extracting the square root. So, gamitin natin si completing the square. So, ang first step natin ay i-isolate mo natin si constant. So, inilipan natin sa kabila. So, magiging x squared plus 6x transpose positive 1, that is minus 1. Yan. Next, Gawin natin ito na trinomial, na perfect square trinomial. So, x squared plus 6x plus blank is equal to negative 1 plus, kung ano i-add natin dito, i-add din dapat natin sa right side of the equation para maging balance pa din yung ginawa natin. Equal pa din sila. Now, paano siya magiging perfect square trinomial? So, let's say meron tayong x squared plus 10x. Para maging perfect square trinomial siya, ang gagawin lang natin, divide the middle term by 2. So, 10 divided by 2, that is 5. Then, 5 squared, 25. Isa pa, x squared plus 8x plus... Para maging PST siya. 8 divided by 2. That is 4. Then square. 
4 square, 16. Apply natin dito. 6 divided by 2. 3. 3 square, 9. So, mag-add tayo ng 9. Sa right side, dapat din. PST na siya. O perfect square trinomial. Now, after gawin siyang PST, gagawin natin siyang square of a binomial. So, square of a binomial, get the square root of x squared. Copy the sign of the middle term. So, positive. Then, square root of 9. Then, square root. So, note natin yung rules of PST. Dapat ang first and last term must be perfect squares. Is it equal to negative 1 plus 9? Positive 8. Okay. Now, i-remove na natin yung square. O, papasok na nga yung concept ng extracting the square root. So, get the square root. Then, square root. Square root will be cancelled out. Then, x plus 3, may iwan na yan, is equal to the square root of 8. Don't forget our positive and negative. Now, si square root of 8 can be factored into, so copy natin, x plus 3 is equal to, si 8 ay pwede siya simplify. Positive negative is square root of, that is 4 times 2. Kasi 4 is a perfect square number. Okay, simplify natin siya. So, dito tayo. X plus 3 is equal to positive negative square root of 4. That is 2 square root of 2. X lang yung kukunin natin. So, transpose natin si 3. So, X is equal to positive negative 2 square root of 2 transpose minus 10. So, ito na ngayon yung ating final answer. So, nagkataon, naka-radical form siya. So, first example natin yan. Itong completing the square, medyo mahirap lang siya sa umpisa. Pero kapag nakapag-practice ka na ng madaming beses, uh, padali na lang siya na padali. So, kailangan talaga natin dito ng madaming example. Kaya number 2 tayo. 2x squared plus 4x minus 16 is equal to 0. Pansinin yung given. Divisible sila ng 2. So, pwede natin siya i-reduce. So, we need to divide by 2 the equation. So, divided by 2. So, meron tayo ngayon. Dito na lang natin yung sulat. 2 divided by 2, so that is 1. So, dito ay x squared na lang. 4 divided by 2, that is 2, then the variable x. Negative 16 divided by 2, negative 8 is equal to 0. Ayan. So, first step natin, isolate the constant term. So, transpose natin si negative 8. So, may iwan na lang si x squared plus 2x is equal to 8. Then, gawin na natin tong perfect square trinomial. So, mayayari, we have x squared plus 2x plus blank is equal to 8 plus blank. Ano ilalagay natin sa blank? So, middle term, 2 divided by 2, then square natin. So, 2 divided by 2. That is 1. Don't forget to square. And 1 square, 1. So, mag tayo ng 1. mag tayo dito ng 1. Pag-add tayo sulat na. And, gawin natin tong square of a binomial. So, we have x, copy the sign of the middle term, plus square root of 1, 1. Then square. Is equal to 8 plus 1, 9. Then extract the square root. Para mawala si square. So cancel mo. So x plus 1 is equal to square root of 9. Positive, negative, 3. 
Then transpose that is 1. X is equal to positive negative 3 minus 1. So we have two values for X. Okay? So yung isa, X is equal to yung positive 3 minus 1. Let's say, x sub 1 natin yan. At yung ikalawa, x sub 2, yung negative 3, minus 1. Then, simplify natin. So, our x sub 1 is equal to 3 minus 1, which is 2. Then, we have x sub 2, negative 3 minus 1, negative 4. So, ang values ng x natin ay, Positive 2 and negative 4. So, ayan na yung final answer natin. So, pwede din pala natin siya i-check. Kapag sinatsute natin, so original given natin, dapat mag equal siya kay 0. Ayan. Example number 3. x squared plus 20x minus 36 is equal to negative 2. Pwede pa ba natin siya i-reduce? Hindi na, kasi yung x natin, yung x squared natin, uh, reduced form na siya. So, first step natin, isolate na natin yung constant. x squared plus 20x is equal to negative 2 transpose so positive 36. Next, x square plus 20x is equal to negative 2 plus 36, that is 34. Now, gawin natin siyang perfect square trinomial. So, x square plus 20x plus block is equal to 34 plus block. Ano ilalagay natin sa block? So, middle term is 20 divided by 2, 10. 10 square 100. So, 100 and plus 100. So, we have x plus square root of 100, 10 square is equal to 100 plus 34, 134. And now, tanggalin natin si square, extract the square root. Get the square root, square root. So, x plus 10 is equal to positive negative square root of 134. Pwede ba natin simplify si square root of 134? Uh, hindi kasi siya perfect square number. Is it tayo number na pwede siya simplify? So, factor ni 134, if natin solve 134, Give that it's a prime factorization divided by 2, 134 divided by 2, that is 67. Tama? 67 plus 67, 134. 67, prime number na siya. Ah, prime number na siya. So, wala siyang a uh, perfect number na factor. So, ilipad natin si 10. So, final answer natin, x is equal to positive negative square root of 134 transpose minus 10. So, ito na yung ating magiging final answer. So, ganun. Dapat naka simplest form siya. Or in this case, wala na kasi siyang square number na factor. So, yan yung example number 3 natin natin to medyo challenging number 4 3x squared plus 12x minus 13 is equal to 2 so first step natin isolate natin si constant term so may e1c 3x squared plus 12x is equal to 2 times 13 so we have 3x squared plus 12x is equal to 2 plus 13, 15. Then, pansinin, 3, 12, 15. Divisible sila ng 3. Oh, madali lang pala. Divide natin ng 3. 
So, mangyayari, we have x squared plus 12 divided by 3, 4x, is equal to 15 divided by 3, 5. Then, giving natin siyang PST. So, we have x plus, I'm uh, sorry, x squared plus 4x plus blank is equal to 5 plus blank. Ano yung lalagay natin sa blank? So, 4 divided by 2, that is 2. Then, 2 squared, 4, mag-add ng 4, mag-add ka din sa right side. Para balance. So, now we have, gawin square of a binomial, x plus square root of 4, 2 squared, is equal to 5 plus 4, 9. And now, extract the square root. So, square root, then square root. So, cancel na natin yung square root or square root. May iwan na lang. x plus 2 is equal to positive, negative, square root of 9. So, ilipat natin si 2. So, we have x is equal to positive, negative 3, transpose, minus 2. So, we have two values for x. Yung isa, let's say si x sub 1 is equal to the positive 3 minus 2 and x sub 2, the negative 3 minus 2. Now, we have 3 minus 2, 1. That's the x sub 1. x sub 2, negative 3 minus 2, negative. So, yan yung ating values ng x for this equation. So, yan ang completing the square. So, more practice, mas maganda para mas ma-factor siya. Don't forget to like and subscribe, Senior Pablo TV. Thank you.